Good afternoon and welcome to News Valdosta. I'm Tevin Williams with your noon update. A U.S. attorney says two South Georgia men have pled guilty to dogfighting and firearms charges. Attorney Michael Moore says Raymond Lee Hendricks of Eccles County entered a guilty plea, one count of conspiracy, to travel in interstate commerce in aid of unlawful activities. Hendricks also pled guilty to charges of sponsoring a dog in an animal fighting venture. Willie Henderson of Lowndes County entered a plea of guilty to the same charges and to one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. Both face a maximum of five years jail time and a $250,000 fine. A massive search is underway off of Florida's Atlantic coast for two missing teens. Last Friday, Perry Cohen and Austin Stefanos were seen buying fuel for their 19-foot boat. Authorities later found that the boat in the open water, but the two 14-year-old boys were missing. The boat will remain anchored in place while search and rescue efforts continue. A grandmother is arrested after accused for leaving her grandchild in a hot car. News Valdosta's Nolani Matthews has the story and how the community is responding over social media. Come on, you should never leave your babies alone ever. God put that lady there to save him. These are just a few of the comments made over social media after a concerned citizen saved a two-year-old boy left in a hot car on Tuesday. This picture has been shared over a thousand times through Facebook, catching the attention of worried mothers in the Valdosta community in a matter of minutes. If I had some, my child in someone else's care and they were that careless with my child, I would absolutely want them to do the same thing. That asked the police say around 4 p.m. at the Walmart on Norman Drive, 43-year-old grandmother Anissa Reeves left the toddler in the car while she went inside with another grandchild. Outside, it was approximately 96 degrees with a heat index around 107. A vehicle can trap that heat and increase the temperature by 30 to 40 degrees. 12 minutes, police say that's how long the two-year-old boy was sitting in the heat before a Valdosta Samaritan opened the unlocked door and saved the grandchild. The National Traffic Highway Safety Administration says heat stroke is the leading cause of non-crash vehicle related deaths for children under the age of 14. I know I would have done the same thing. I think as citizens we really need to look out and be more observant about things that are going on around us and in this case this woman could have very well saved this child's life. Officials say the quick and logical thinking of the concerned citizen was instrumental in keeping this child from suffering serious medical complications. The child was later released to his mother's care after being treated for dehydration at South Georgia Medical Center. In this extreme heat, people or pets shouldn't be left in the car for even a short amount of time. Next time you're in a parking lot, remember this valuable yet life-threatening lesson. For News Valdosta, I'm Nolani Matthews. Thanks, Noelani. The active shooter in the murder of 11 people in Louisiana has been identified. 59-year-old John Russell Hauser allegedly unloaded a 20-round clip from his legally purchased handgun at the showing of the movie Trainwreck last Thursday. Lafayette Police Chief Jim Kraft says Hauser was a law school graduate with history of mental issues. Investigators are still getting details on Hauser and what provoked him to open fire at the theater. With the construction of the new Valdosta High School, many community members are wondering how they can get involved in the project and the timeline for completion. Here's News Valdosta's Jessica Pope with more on tonight's planning meeting. I'm here on the campus of Valdosta Early College Academy where tonight at 6 p.m. in the Valdosta City Schools Teaching and Learning Training Center will be a meeting hosted by JCI Parish to discuss the new project for the Valdosta High School. This will allow the public to become informed about the project and it will specifically target local and minority contractors so that they can figure out how they can be contracted for the construction of this project. The meeting will go over the bidding process as well as all pre-qualifications. The schedule for the project will be announced tonight as well. All contractors who are interested in getting their hands on this project should come to the meeting tonight. For News Valdosta, I'm Jessica Pope. 
Thanks, Jessica. Looking at your local weather, today's high will be around 92 degrees with a 20% chance of rain. The low tonight will drop to 71 degrees with a chance of rain remaining at 20%. Tomorrow we will see a high of 96 with a 20% chance of rain. Thanks for watching News Valdosta. I'm Tevin Williams. Tune in for your 3 o'clock update with Maggie McLamry. Have a great day.